You're watching the Business Channel, creating business class programs. In the low carbon and retrofit market, Camphol provide quite a lot of products and services. The basic business mantra of our, of our business is that we provide the best quality air whilst minimising energy consumption. And in doing so, we can save our clients a lot of money. Well, air filters clean the, the contaminants and the pollutants in the air, and in doing so, protect people, processes and the environment. Any commercial building where you've got a fan moving air, we're the company that would filter the air so the inhabitants of the building are, are breathing clean air. Air handling units are the areas that we fit our filters and the, the whole purpose of, a, of an air handling unit is to heat, cool and clean the air. The fan motor actually is the energy consumer and in doing that it's got to, it's got to pull the air through heating coils, cooling coils and indeed through the filter. These elements cause a resistance on the fan and therefore make the fan work a lot harder. Fortunately, filters are the only products within that environment that are designed to be changed. So if we can lower the resistance over the life of that filter, then we can dramatically reduce the energy consumed by that filter in situation. We call that resistance pressure drop. And in doing so, we can actually save the uh, clients a lot of money on their energy bill. Our products have a huge impact upon the energy we use in the marketplace. Typically, we could change the, the, the filters that are in situ, currently in many, many buildings, replace them with low energy alternatives and save between 30 and 50% of the energy use that the filter would consume within that air handling unit. If a company wanted to lower those carbon emissions, air filters would be an ideal place to start. The paybacks are very, very quick and they can be done in a matter of a few months. You would improve your filtration by getting a better filter, which would be changed less frequently, maybe once a year rather than twice a year. The labour involved in actually fitting and disposing that filter, again, would be less. Fundamentally, the energy consumption would be reduced dramatically. Just to give you an indication on the relationship between energy and filters, it costs approximately 10 times in energy to run a filter is just to buy one. So yes, very much so, air filters are a very quick win. I would advise our clients to use it as part of an energy uh, carbon reduction program where they could build up reserves to, to use the savings they've made to actually bring in more capital intensive um, low carb refit products. To achieve radically short paybacks, all you've got to do is invite an engineer to come and survey your building. It doesn't take long, an engineer will come in, survey your building, look inside your handling unit, look at what you've got in there now, look at your accommodation space and make a proposition that would either be you can change your filters, just a straight replacement of filters, or you might need some reframing to get a better product in there which would actually extend your life of your filter, lower your labour costs and, and fundamentally reduce your energy costs. Uh, step two might be you might have to go in um, and do a, a full survey where you would compare what you've got in now to what you propose and that would be costed up with all the carbon emissions associated with that. Uh, that might require a little bit of capital equipment but generally these take between seven and eight months to get your money back. So it really is a no-brainer and it's astonishing that why people don't really uh, take this up. It is a simple solution for the carbon re retrofit market. To me it's quite imperative that we actually do lower our carbon emissions. It should be in everybody's, any, every human being's DNA within the UK, not just in business but at the home. There have been a study made by Riva, uh, the Federation of Heating, Ventilating and Air Conditioning Association in Europe and they estimate the savings that can be made just by replacing a standard air filter, a low energy air filter, uh, are three terawatts um, throughout Europe. In the UK, that would equate to about £500 million.